Mary, what's going hey. on? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you. Oh, my God. And those of you that don't know, which I, I knew, but I messed up the last time she was live with me. This is Mary. She was on 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> all that good stuff. And Mary, I'm going to let you tell your story because I was like, what? I said, so you yeah. said to me that you were in an open relationship for two years? Uh-huh, I was, absolutely. Tell, tell me about this. I am so yeah. intrigued. Please tell me. Um, uh, so, it, you know, I've flirted with that idea back and forth, you know, off and on for several years. And okay. it kind of came down to this, you know. I was so tired of being cheated on. Like, so uh, tired. Okay. And... I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. This is dumb. Like, okay. every person that I was choosing as a partner ended up cheating on me for whatever reason. Right. So I just was like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take back my power. And, you know, that's kind of how it kind of happened. I went into a new relationship and I was okay. like, hey, how do you feel about being in an open relationship? And he goes, oh, well, I've never you, really You presented it to them? You presented mm -hmm. it. What? Well, okay, it was a man, uh -huh. right? Or was it a man? Yeah, of man? course. It was okay, a man. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and I was like, okay, is. well, let's just, let's just, you know, I was like, let's flirt with this idea. Let's talk about it. How do you feel okay. about it? Like what? So then you start there and if they're open to it, then, you know, kind of just what are, what, what are you okay with? What are you not okay with? What are some wow. hard no's? What are some whatever's? And it just kind of goes from there. But I will say this, you know, okay. I've met people and relationships before like open relationships that it doesn't work and they're okay. like well maybe they're like well maybe i should try that because um he wants to cheat or he wants to see other people well mm -hmm. you can't really do that i mean the okay. way that i feel about it is you've got to have trust to start with what? you have to trust your partner there what? has to be a foundation and if there's not a foundation well you're you're wasting your time because if you don't trust if you don't have self-confidence then, then there gets the seed of um, insecurity that just grows. So, so you when, have to be full. Right. So when you was in it, in the relationship that was open, you had a discussion. He was yep. good with it. Did you have somebody else and he had somebody else? <clears throat> we did. Yeah. Did y'all all, all mm -hmm. go out on dates sometimes? We did. Yeah. And that, that's the funny <laughs> thing because, see, like, um, we had... Uh, we had a couple that was that was he was best friends i was best friends we'd hang out separately together it was but they were a couple and okay. i was you know we were couples too we okay. didn't uh, so it was it was so easy it okay. was just so easy because we were all friends like it was just wow. so easy okay mm -hmm. so okay so I, I, I mean just the you can you cannot answer if you don't want to Mm -hmm. Was there sexual things involved with you and the other partner, or did you and your boyfriend keep the sexual just between you and you and him? <clears throat> um, no, it was an open relationship. So okay. we, um, yeah, if you know, we, if I wanted if to go wanted out to? with the guy, yeah, if I wanted to, that was on the table. And okay, same so, goes, okay. yeah, same goes for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you have a relationship with someone else, and sex wasn't on the table? They was just your friend, and that was yes. it. Yes. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. So yes. you really, so in so many, you really did the poly thing. The the, you you was doing that. Yeah, I guess I I don't really know the definition of poly. I guess, um, I, I just know that we were in an open relationship. <laughs> and y'all, but y'all was boyfriend and girlfriend. So yes. okay. So in, what was um, was other women off the table for you? Was yeah. that a no go? No, that it was, wasn't. That yeah, wasn't that was on the table. table. That was on the table for us. That that for me absolutely yeah. was. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, you about to have a, uh, a BM for the women now coming after you now. I just, <laughs> what? Like, okay, I'm, you know it's, this is crazy. I'm gonna tell you why it's blowing my mind, and I'm gay, and I'm like, I don't know if I could have my girlfriend and have another stud with me because I'll be trying to box her. Like, yo, what are you doing? Like, no. <laughs> so you, I, I get what you're saying when you're like, yo, it has to be trust. You got to have the rules <sighs> laid out. It has to be this. Oh, I you can't go. You can't go into it blindly. Like, let's just try. Right. No, you can't do that. Because okay. if like kissing is your thing, okay. then and you don't want to share that, then you can't do that. I just talked to her about that yesterday. I was like, if you kiss somebody the way you kiss me, I'm liable to fight both of y'all and end up in jail kissing nobody or everybody. Exactly. <laughs> you oh, have oh, to set goodness. rules. You have to wow. set rules. It's so important. She's all, I mean, she watches Sister Wives. She's no, 
Mm-hmm. She know more about it than me. When I saw it on Facebook, it just intrigued me. Now, mind you, I watched it with her, Sister Wild, and I just be looking like, yeah, this is, yeah. this is, you know, but then when Facebook, um, the Red Table Talk did it, I was just like, okay, yeah. this is truly out here. This is a, this is really happening. I'll be honest with you. You know, right. I sent you that, I sent you that DM. That was probably right. the healthiest relationship that I'd had. I was going to ask you about that. So you saying it was healthy. Why was that the most healthiest relationship? Because there was, there was, sorry. I'm my phone. Glitch for a second. Um, there was so much trust within our relationship, but we had so much communication that, you know, it, it forces you in a sense to be like, he's, it, for instance, if he wanted to go out with the other girl or whatever, uh-huh. the other couple or whatever. Right. And I just was like, you know, no, no, I really, I really need you tonight. Like, I really just, I really just need a chill night, just wow. you and I. Then it forced me to express that, communi- you know, have that communication there. And, and it, wow. it kind of forces you to talk about your feelings instead of like, you know, for instance, like in um, monogamous relationships, I remember doing this myself, be like, hey, I'm going out with the boys. And I would like, cross my arms, like, fine, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. whatever, do what you want to do. And wow. you're not using your words. You're not saying, hey, I really need you tonight. I right. really need you to stay home with me. Uh, <clears throat> so it forced me to grow as a person. Um, yeah. Wow. So when I say it was it was probably one of the most healthy relationships I had, it, it's best the truth. So, okay, so are you still... That, okay, yeah, I can see how I could force you to have those conversations of, Hey, I don't need you to leave. I need you to stay. But okay, so there was no jealousy. And y'all, if you have questions, put it in the box. Uh, so there was no jealousy or anything like that. No. The um, was- I'll, I'll be quite honest with this. I, I know this sounds so weird, and I know how it could. Wait, how, I, I'm, how, I'm here for you. I am so it, here for you. <laughs> it's it's like, um, I am. Oh God, this sounds. I don't. I'm putting. I'm putting a lot out there. I enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed his pleasure. Does that make sense? Like, if uh, I knew that yes. he was enjoying himself or having a good time with this person, yes. I'm like, I love him. So yes. why would I not want him to experience different things? You, or tell I, me about your night. And he had whatever. So I'm like, oh, I'm glad you had a great time. It was just I, being able to fully love that person. No, you absolutely right, because I said that yesterday when I was talking to my girlfriend. I was just like, we were talking about it, and I said, I have to read, uh, and I'll get more into this tomorrow, but I was like, I, I have to rethink this because I'm the main person that preach openness, and how is it that I'm gay? And I'm sitting here like, you got to be open to things, like open to other people's yeah. lifestyle. And I was like, but would I get jealous? And I said to her, I said, I need to be able to let you enjoy life and be confident in what we have together. And right. knowing that you're doing your thing, it has nothing to do with me. This is something you wanted to experience, and I need to be happy that you can experience this without me, even if it is with someone else. And I truly had to sit back and say, whoa, wait a minute. That is some because heavy thoughts. It is, because you you have to sit back and like, okay, hold on a second. You have to really check yourself. Right. Like, where am I? Like, what is this? Why That's am I jealous? I was doing. Yes. And I had to t- internalize Ooh. that. Like, this isn't about me. This is about them and their life and their experiences. Oh, and they're entitled man. to happiness in any way or shape or form. So yes. I, had to ex- I had to accept that. And he accepts that, too. So oh, it was <clears throat> really, really just accepting and loving the person fully. Yes. And I had a, yeah. that's the way that I see it. <clears throat> I had a growing up moment yesterday evening. Just right then and there, and I was just like, "Ooh, wait, wait a minute!" And I was yeah, like, yeah. Cause I, if, "If if you love somebody, you don't ever want to take away something that they may want to experience." It's just like if they want to go jump out of an airplane, you can't stop them because you're scared to do it. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to let them yeah. do it. So, and and, he, and that's an experience without you, but you don't talk them out of it, you know? Because I had a, I had a girlfriend that I wanted to do the motorcycle thing. And she was fearful. She's like, no, I don't want you to do it. I snuck and did it. Hit the word. I snuck and did it. See what I mean? 
You yeah, know what I mean? I was like, and this was years, years, years ago. But it was like, why did I have to sneak and do something that I wanted to do for me, even yeah. if you didn't want to do it? Yeah, so it's like the same thing. Oh my gosh. It's very, it's it's very true. Like it's it's very right. similar. That's a great analogy, you know? And yeah. and it's it, just like cheating. It's like, well, you know, she's not gonna let me do it behind her, you know, in front of her, I might as well do it behind her back. And it's right. it's very right. similar. <clears throat> Right. I mean, not that I want it done in front of me, but you know what I mean. Like, at least I'm yeah, at least honest I, you know, with me. And yeah, just say, be honest. Would you mind? But see, like you said, it, yeah. it forces a conversation that people don't want to have because what we've been taught is wrong to be with so many people at one time. And so, see, that was something with me, though. Like, okay. like you said, if um, I don't think I would like. So some people do this different partners every single week or whatever. Right. I, in my opinion, that's fine if that's what you want to do. But for us, that's not something I like. I was like, look, if you're going to have multiple partners, you have to be safe. And that was a hard no for me. Like, gotcha. That has and to. Then, you have to be safe. Okay, um, so it was. It was more of you need to be finding somebody to be in a relationship with, not just because you want to go out here and sleep with this person, that person, that person. Right. Okay. And if you and, if, and, I, and I told him, I was like, if you do that, then you know, cause. Are a must like that has to be that's a must like you know you and I we've been in a relationship long enough that's not our thing but if you choose to go somewhere else that with someone else you have to be safe because I don't the last thing that I want is you know I wind up at the freaking health clinic so, so. I know that's right uh, I'll be fighting man let me ask you mm -hmm. y'all why did y'all y'all not still together correct no, uh, no, we're not. Is, is there? Can you, do you feel like telling us why or no? You don't. Yeah, okay. I can do that. This is a long time okay. ago. This, yeah, okay. this is a like okay. recent or anything. Okay. Um, uh, so this is I am not always the most positive person, or I wasn't then. I'm working on. Um, okay. but he's just a really chill, relaxed person. And I'm not always. So I had to grow up super quick. I have been on my own since I was 17. I'm a very okay. type A person. I'm like, okay. this has to be done. This has to be done. And this has to be done. Gotcha. Because that's how I've had to live my life for my, since I was a kid. I've taken care of myself. I've taken care of my kids. I've taken care of my sister. I have wow. a lot of responsibility. He's never really had responsibility. So mm. me saying, hey, trash goes out on Wednesdays. And trash hadn't went out on Wednesdays for three Wednesdays. Okay. You're on my nerves. So I'm just, okay. I wasn't as chill as he was. So mm. I'm working on that's, it. It's been a work of progress. Okay. So that's something else. <clears throat> Y'all didn't break mm -hmm. up because it was an open relationship. You broke no, up because I know. of no. your personality and how you said the, you know, I need you to mm -hmm. do this. Live in this, live in my world instead of you figuring out it's a world that needs to be lived together as time yeah, moves on. Was, but you said you're working on it now. Uh, it's something that I've been working on. Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard to let go of like, okay, so what? The trash hadn't been taken out in two weeks. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm working you on gotta, it. You got to come over to the other side with me and I, I'll help you get through that easily. It's, it's not as hard as you think. I promise you. Those are just, those are just habits that you create, but that, that's a different lie. We'll talk about that yeah. some other time, but that's good. Yeah. Oh man. So we're working on it. But yeah. Right. right. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm going to ask. You don't have to answer. Because I, I, okay. I've been told that it's about the person and not the the same sex or opposite sex. So did you get into a relationship with a woman? You did. Um, I you have. Oh, I you have. Got, during yeah. that time? Um, um, the, oh, during the yes. time it was open? Okay. Yeah, well, <clears throat> yeah, but before that, even before that, I was in um, a relationship what well, I mean, with a couple of girls. Yeah. Are, are you single um, now? But that was years ago. Are you single I am single now. now. Yeah, I'm single now. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Mary is single. <laughs> if y'all ain't been shooting y'all shot with this woman, shame on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I was For like, I, I'm single now. No, and I say that because I hit both sides of the sex. Men, women, they always mm -hmm. talk about how they want somebody that is open. That they can talk to. They can communicate yeah. with. And... Not, uh, you know, I just did something about some ugly babies about three days ago. You ain't ugly, baby, so you ain't ugly. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, oh. I, you know, oh man, Mary, I am, I am so thankful that you decided to do this with me. I, I really am because this leading into tomorrow that we're doing uh-huh. at four o'clock, and I know you won't be available, but I. This has been, yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to have more questions, but I'm, I'm trying to hold on to you right quick because it was the spot. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I don't think that I could go back to a monogamous, a monogamous relationship. Really? I I could do so it. that's off the mm-hmm. table. So even if you got married, they got to understand that we that you need to be open. So, oh, wait, do you plan on ever getting married? Mm-hmm. No, probably not. Not in the traditional sense. What, what do you mean? What, what kind of marriage is? What else is it? What kind of? What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, like the open relationship thing. That's not traditional. So I mean, that oh. would have to be there. And then, I mean, I would probably do like a vow thing, but I don't think I would take it through the government. I don't think I would do that. You would. You wouldn't. One. Okay. First, no. I don't think I would do that. No. Uh, no. I just. I don't. I don't know. I. I've, I've been married once. Oh, have um, you? Okay. Yeah, I was married, okay. I, but I don't, I don't want to do that again. I mean, it was so uh-huh. hurtful to go through the divorce. That was awful. Going through a divorce is horrible. Um, so I don't yeah. want to do that again. It can be. And yeah, I just don't want to. But as far as, yeah, no, I don't think I would want to go back to a monogamous relationship because that closes so many doors for him and me both. Wow, <clears throat> I am. You know, I am loving you in every way possible because of the honesty. Because I'm gonna be, I, you know, you you've been on, you know how TV entertainment is, mm-hmm. so you know they was do what they do because it's about entertainment. Yeah. But this is the realest it gets when I try to talk to people because I'm very transparent even about my life. And I look Hebbers, very sad. I don't, I don't. So you okay? You got any prospect? Like anybody in a in a in a running? No, no, you I don't want to right now. I, you don't I haven't. Want to. No, I. Really? I haven't. No, I haven't been dating for a while now, and I don't want to. <clears throat> Here's why. I don't. I mean, people hit up my inbox. Whatever it is, what it is. But uh, this is the way that I feel. Okay. Some some people. You just you know how you when you just meet somebody or they say something and you just look at them like, did that really just come out of your mouth? <laughs> I do that all the time. I do it all. And the I'm time. just like. <laughs> and you're trying to get in my pants? No. People are they are brave. Some people are brave behind the keyboard. Like you I like, tell you what. <laughs> I, so that's why I, I'm just really turned off by so many people right now. Oh that man. it it doesn't even I'm not even interested in anyone. That wow. it and I'm not just in like, yeah, I have needs, but there's also, right. you know, stores that I can get some of that filled, you know? <laughs> I know that's right. There's, so, a, there's a store. <laughs> there's a store for this. Yeah. So, I just, I'm so, I'm so grossed out by some of these people that I'm just like, no, I'm not, until you knock me off my feet, I'll, I'm just going to okay. remain single. So, just, so what, what can knock you off your feet? <laughs> you know, we were talking about earlier, it's not necessarily like qualities, it's just how someone presents their energy to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, there's been one person here recently. I'm like, oh, I, I kind of like that person. They're cool to hang out with. I'm not attracted to them or anything like that. Right, but it's just like right. this feeling when you're in their presence. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I like this person. I'm looking for something like that. I'm not looking for looks. I'm not looking for money. I'm not looking for any of that. I want to feel. Um, I want. I want to feel how they feel. I want to feel that they're a good person. That's what I'm looking for. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, did y'all hear that? I mean, I want to repeat that. She said, I want to feel that they are a good person. That is some energy you can't mask or it, you got. Ooh, ooh, that, now that right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the energy is everything. So I take it you into the energy of a person a lot. You can feel yep. the energy and where they're coming from and how they, ooh, Mary, that's yep. deep. Well, that, that, that just took out 75% of the people on social media, so they go. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I was reading the comments, and I do want to address this quickly. Someone said okay. something like, looks like I'm at Jeffrey's house. I, uh, yeah, I saw that. No, 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 no. Mary. Mary, don't even, no. 
Actually, she's in my house in the backyard. It's none of y'all business. So I asked her to do this. And we got a three-way going on, if you must know, because y'all some nosy people. Okay? Exactly. I swiped her up. I swiped oh her my, up. Me and my girl no, swiped her is... up. And she's in the back of our house. Yep. Y'all don't get to see. That's why you only see my wall. So yep. now, I had to put it out there. There, there you go. Me. That's there exactly go. where, that's where I am. She Absolutely. Queen, <laughs> y'all just got to know everything. Let it Man. ride. Let it ride. We, this is uh. my girl, okay? I asked her to come on. <laughs> yeah. Y'all just got to know everything. I she's know. Mine. Off with me. <laughs> now, come for me. Now, now, Vicky, okay. we just talked about open okay. relationships right. and right. possession. Right. Right. I took her from Jeff. <laughs> now what? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes, it's the same woman that when she came on, I didn't know who she was. Yeah. I know, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Run and tell that. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, man. Yeah, but you know the folks over here got something to say. I, I, but I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I, th I thank you so much for this. This is this has made me grow up in a way and think about things I didn't think about until I started talking about this. This is why I love stuff like this because I believe in growing. I believe in in seeing things through the eyes of other people and and not being because the first thing we do is is judge whether we like it or not. We'd be like, boom, never do that. Who does that? They're, you know, they're a garden tool. That's that's what they used to call that. That you know, and it's like, no, 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 no. They're not being that. Okay. Some of the partner they have a, they have part, they have boyfriends they don't even sleep with. It's not about sex. They exactly. Have a husband, you know, and that's the part that a lot of people don't get when it comes to this. It's not about that. You it's know, just about exactly spending, spending time with other so, people openly without any yeah. problems. You know, think about this, too. There are so many men who have issues, and I'm not mm -hmm. trying to, you know, whatever. Right. But they want their woman, there's certain things that certain partners fulfill and can't what? fulfill. <laughs> you would say the mouthful. Exactly. And that's the key. Because if you're with somebody and you know they're not fulfilling maybe the emotional need that you need, that's when, okay, I'll put it like this. Those of you that is in a relationship with a man, just one man, and he doesn't give you what your girlfriend, your friend, that's a woman, mm -hmm. gives you when you call her and you're like, hey, I need to talk to you. Instead of being vulnerable with him, you won't be yeah. vulnerable with him because he's not fulfilling that need, but yet you still want to be with him. You still right. want to sleep with him, but you right. want to... And, and sometimes you can actually get to be that vulnerable person with another man. And it's not even about the sexual part. And he's in your life. He comes over. Your boyfriend is cool with it. Y'all are all hanging out, but he is mostly your friend. Then he Absolutely. Is. Absolutely. Is, am, I, am, am I saying it right? You are, okay. You're <laughs> nailing it. And okay. see, like, I have, like, we all have different friends, right? Right. So you have this friend who's like a party animal friend. Like, hey, I'm calling her. I want to go out with her. She's a good time. We right. have, you know, we break it down on the dance floor. You have that friend, Correct. you know? But then you yes. also have another friend that would you only go to tea with on Saturdays because that's their thing. Right. You, so, you, you know, I find it silly that we... It, it, think that i think that's where dependent relationships kind of come into like codependencies like Correct. you expect this person to be your everything that's that's not healthy i don't so, think so either that, that i don't think it's healthy at all and making one person no. get everything yeah so that's 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 where this kind of open relationship thing i think um kind of kind of helps and and i guess and i guess it's okay for me to say that even if you end up with another male friend and you do end up having sex with them he hit us. He did things that your boyfriend actually didn't do, but it doesn't mean you want to stop sleeping with your boyfriend and he knows about it too. Is that about correct? I mean, right. no. Okay, yeah. I, I'm just okay. Oh, right, but it's man. not always like you know. I I hate to say it like this, but sometimes it's not the emotion of the sex. You know. Um, okay. It's I just it. physical. Sometimes it can be just physical. It could be um, the cuddling. He cuddles great. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> He could be the most, you know, and that's it. I want you to cuddle me all day. Yeah, but I'm going home yep. to have, you know, make love to him. I, yeah, okay. Absolutely. Ooh. You, ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, see, okay. for instance, you know, the guy that I was in a relationship with, um, he he had a sensory thing. So okay. he doesn't like to touch. Like, he didn't like to mm. cuddle or do those things. Okay. Like, because 
he was, you know, that was just, he was kind of on the spectrum there. So he had some sensory issues. Mm. So there were certain parts of the relationship that I missed because that was just something he couldn't do. Mm. And that's what you needed. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's just, <gasps> that's just the way that it is. Wow. Sorry. The sun's getting really high right now. I see it. I see it. You're getting your body to do. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, so man. Good. Oh man! Ooh, Mary, that you said something that <laughs> triggered that because there, there's times that I can get into a very deep intellectual conversation with somebody, and it could be a female, and they would take it the wrong. It's like they would get they get their emotions tied in the wrong way, and then all of a sudden yep. they done fell in love, and I'm like, whoa, yep. I got somebody. We're not. I can't do this no more. But then. Sometimes the conversation may not go that deep with uh-huh. who I'm with. Oh, man, I am having yeah. an epiphany right here, right now with you. Like, yeah. seriously, I am having an epiphany. And it wasn't about it sexual. It wasn't about nope. having sex with them because I wasn't attracted sexually at all. It was no, just, they just, I just wanted the conversation. Exactly. To the, oh, <laughs> but I did, okay, okay. And here's, the, here's the part that gets deep, y'all. I did it without permission. That's ah. the problem. That was the problem. I did that conversation and continued that conversation without permission. So it would feel like I did cheat in so many ways. Ooh, wee. Yeah. I am having yeah. an epiphany and, right now. And you're wow. allowed. And see, that's why I would tell him, you know, sometimes he would have these conversations with other people. And he would talk to them because and spend hours online sometimes talking to other people. Right. But they had the same interests that I didn't have. Oh, he couldn't talk to me. It was they were speaking in a completely foreign language to me. Right. And oh, wow. that was okay for him. Like he was allowed to do that because for one, I don't take interest in that interest. So to me, he's like stuck into a dead wall. Oh my God. So this is like you have to you have to love the person fully. Like they're a whole person. They have fifty different interests and you may not fulfill every one of those and that's okay. Don't internalize that. And so you know yeah, you know what's crazy? <laughs> now I'm about to go back and have a different conversation now with my girl. Because <laughs> here's what, I mean, because my mind, for some reason, the way that I'm built, I can I can relate to men, I can relate to women, I can relate to yeah. kids, I can relate to ministers, I can relate to politicians, uh, Republican, Democrat. I mean, my mind can go anywhere and hold a conversation. And a lot of times, because of that, those skills that I have, people fall in love and sometimes I'm like I'm intrigued but it's not me falling in love and yes. they actually <clears throat> fall in love with the whole personality OMG this is and like it's, and, and maybe right they're now. lacking they're lacking something right. obviously right. Does that makes sense mm. no yep. it makes a whole lot of sense Ooh, mm-hmm. Mary. okay I think we got a couple of questions I'm gonna go with it sure. uh, you, v, would you open to another film yo that's 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 the funny part. Yeah. Film is the key word. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't know. And see, I have to, I have to deal with that because I don't, I, I don't know if it's my, if it would be jealousy or my ego. And I can't do the ego thing because I know what that does. Ed, Ed Jada, you know, I yeah. always say it all the time. EGO, Edging God Out. So I can't do the ego thing. I don't, ooh, wait. I would have to have a total breakdown of, releasing and figuring out dig, dig deep inside him what is the problem like what would i why would i have a problem with that mm-hmm. Ooh, we okay this is another question mary i, I should have did this i don't know why i brought you up <laughs> <I thought, laughs> oh man dev said a mind is very sexy without being physical yeah it is uh-huh. like like I, back in the day well I, I, back i've made love to people mentally Ain't oh yes yeah. Absolutely. I, I, that was like that was the thing for me. Like I'm, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be right here, right uh-huh. here with you, and it, it it does something. But a lot of a lot of people, men and women, don't experience that. I, I totally understand what you mean. I've been with some super dumb people, and then other times <laughs> I'm just like, you know, have this ridiculous conversation. And I just feel euphoric, you know, after talking yeah. to this person. So I totally get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! That's not like I, there's no other questions in the box. O M G, Mary. I hate. I, I ain't gonna say I hate. I really wish you could be there tomorrow, but it's okay. Cause I'm doing this I'm right sorry, now. Sorry, I have to work. No, tomorrow. it's okay. It's okay because if we have to 
after tomorrow, we have to come back to this next weekend. We'll do it again on a Saturday because it seems, I mean, I had so many DMs about this whole topic and people were responding like, oh, no, that's just back in the day. They, you know, it, it's called being a whole. Uh, guard too. I try not to use those words. Yeah, you know, you know, uh, they just sleeping with people, or you know, no, stuff like it's that. not. It's not. It's not what it's about. And if that's what it's about for you, then that's fine. But it's not what it's about for me or for other people. There's so it many, like we really just said, isn't. there's so many different people and so many different experiences. Why, why would I? Why would I want to limit myself or the other person? I feel like you're putting them in a box. Not fair. Man. Man, what, what, what state do you live in? Not what area, but what um, state? I'm in Tennessee. You're in Tennessee? Yeah. I'm in Tennessee. However, not right now. I am visiting friends okay. in Asheville, in Asheville this weekend, so, in North Carolina. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> y'all stop being, don't, don't even say nothing crazy, y'all. Ain't none of y'all business what I'm like trying to do. <laughs> Told y'all, yeah, she yeah. already mine. Nah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. I want to thank you. I thank you. I'm not, you're you welcome. know, we, we've been doing this for a good 35, 40 minutes. I thank you. Uh, enjoy welcome. your afternoon. I thank you so much. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If there's anything I can do to return the favor or whatever, I am all for it in every way. All I right. really am. Well, thanks, guys. Right. Thank you for having me on. I'm going to let you go. Thank I'm going to go finish my tea. Yes. All right. Good night. Ain't you drink tea? Oh, yes. I'm about to make a post. Me and Mary.